looking for him. He'll have nowhere to turn. He'll come to me tonight. At the gala? You're sure? Positive. Hey, what's Reaper Squad doing with the pretty girls up in A3? Looks like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign. Filming confession videos. We blew the library to create misdirection. The media's gonna latch to that, and Amy's gonna tell him the protesters were behind the whole thing. You honestly think that's gonna be enough? How am I getting out of this? Elevator looks like the only way out of here. There's got to be a generator around here somewhere. No power. Figures. There we go. What the hell is that? Hello? You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a Monarch Cronin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks? If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I'm No! At. Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find him. We both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through. Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized a place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. just went out, but Hatch wants a follow-up confession. You got the script? Yeah, this one's more reflective. Like, wish we could undo what we done sort of deal. Dave will feed you the lines. Dave? You're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? You're never letting me go. Please. You, from the protest, what do you... I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? 
What is this place? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. They were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. The security station is right over there. I knew Marnock had a dark side, but Hit. this? <clears throat> They're controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. It's locked. Ah, okay, there must be a gate control around somewhere. Yeah. Hey, it worked. I don't think you're fast enough. Oh my god. You're just. You're just like them. Like who? I saw them on the way in. These geared up soldiers that blink in and out. Okay. Oh, well, something new to look forward to. You know, I thought I was losing my mind when I saw that. You're part of this. I need to know what's going on. You really want to open that can of worms? We're locked out. Maybe you can climb through that open window on the second floor? Yeah, that should work. Wait here. Okay, well, I'll fill you in with what I know, but when you put the pieces together, it all goes banana pancakes. So everyone thinks that Monarch is run by this smarmy asshole named Martin Hatch, but everyone here answers to a guy named Paul Serene. And apparently he founded Monarch in 1999. Now, here's the thing. Paul Serene is the exact name of a guy who was heading some top secret physics project at my university. So it's gotta be the same guy, right? Wrong. Now, I heard that Monarch was there to steal the project from the university. But why steal something from yourself? Also, I saw that guy Paul Serene on campus once, and he looked like 30 years old. So if he started Monarch in 1999, that would make him 14. So unless he's a Doogie Howser for corporate America, that's impossible. Banana fucking pancakes. So Paul founded Monarch. <laughs> need to get up to that open window. Yeah, that window's pretty high up, but I think it's the only way in. Is that another one of those? I'm starting to get the hang of this.
made it. Now to get to that door. here and try and dig a button on it's really up to. Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on here? There were people from our group who took things too far. Shit. Things got very violent. I'm so sorry, Jack. And they forced me to do it. I, I know. Because of Jack Joyce. There's nothing you could have done. Like a terrifying scene down there. We really that appreciate map over there should help you figure out a route. record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. Jack, you should take a look at the map. Ground Zero. That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. I may have to pass through there to get to Paul. Paul? As in Paul Serene? That's why you're going to the dry docks. We have unfinished business. You may want to stay here until I'm done. Yeah. I think you're right. I'll open the door for you. Okay. Stay in contact. Find a radio. I'll be on channel three. And be careful. Yeah. You too. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, I heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... Direct fire! Did I scream enough for you? My powers were unpredictable. They kept growing by leaps and bounds. Still kicking. Monarch radio is lighting up. They heard a noise and know you're coming. Be careful out there. Thanks for the heads up. Enemy spotted! Oh, Shotgunner advancing on hostile!
out there? Yeah. Any idea where I go next? Well, before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock some door on the second floor. That's a start. Thanks. like a way out. Now, how do I get it open? Hey, Jack. The husky lady on Monarch Radio seems to be unable to reach Gatehouse Squad. Remember the geared-up soldiers I mentioned who do the teleporty stuff you do? Yeah. Apparently, they're intending to say hi back with a grudge. So there's that. <sighs> Regarding some kind of chronon particle harvesting operation. Hey, just turned off security. Uh-oh. Jack, they're coming your way. Yeah. I did some digging. This chronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure. But it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation. Everything's linked to the CFR somehow. What the hell is Paul up to? Phonon levels will lower to a point that renders Ground Zero obsolete in the near future. I'm queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the essentials before we proceed. Hello, I'm Dr. Sofia Amaral. Over the past six Sophia years, Amaral. Monarch has made vast technological advances. Monarch's resident chronon scientist. Particles, well, she must know a lot of the same stuff we'll do. On July 4th, 2010, unique temporal anomalies began to occur in a very small and focused area we now refer to as Ground Zero. Located there he is! The oh, that guy from the university! Shotgunner, move in! When the time is right, 
Nice, he's trouble, over. Clear exit down here. May have to head upward. There's gotta be something I can use to get up there. Oh. Not your average elevator. Jack, I found documents here about some kind of private gala Marnak is hosting tonight. Tonight. After everything that's happened? It has something to do with their future plans. Serene's delivering a speech and the guest list has everybody from monarch higher-ups to big shot scientists to the mayor of Riverport, which raises the question, why now? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Okay, getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? I got that I got briefcase that we lifted from William, from William Joyce's, Joyce's car. car. Laid out the, Laid contents, the contents in the trailer. trailer. You want me to go through? No, no. Serene, Serene wants, wants the first wants look. look. Till then, hands off. hands off. Okay. Hello, okay. Looks like the trailer this has power now. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy, I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul, the dry dogs. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. <sighs> it's locked. There's got to be another way to get through here. recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation. I wanted to see what was in there. 
and it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks answering. stutters. You knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Oh, shit. And he never tried to stop it. Never told you what he did in that workshop at Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. 
absolutely no entry. Well, I'm pretty sure that's more of a guideline than a rule. What the hell? What is this? What is, what this? is this? That already happened. What the fuck? There's no words to describe it. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Me and my Me grant, grant extended, extended another year. year. Please, Please, don't do this. Don't do this. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It was impossible to crack. 